Hey, good morning. Um, this morning, if you have a tennis ball, you can have a coos ball, um, any kind of ball you have that we can throw up and toss and catch, we're going to be working on tossing and doing some catching drills. You can follow along with me. Um, so if you need to go get something, you can get a tennis ball uh, or whatever it is you're going to be tossing up to catch, you can pause it right now. And when you come back, press play and you can follow along with me. So the first thing we're going to do when we toss, tossing is underhand. So that means our palms are facing to the ceiling. So when we toss, our palms face to the ceiling. All right. So we toss underhand. And the first thing we're going to do is throw up above our head. And we're going to catch. And anytime we go above our waist or head, we go thumbs to thumbs to catch. All right. And we'll track it in with two hands and catch. So thumbs to thumbs. We're going to go up and see how many times in a row you can catch it thumbs to thumbs our goal would be let's say 20. all right ready go <clears throat> one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good. So if you didn't get 20 in a row, you can pause it and you can keep going until you get 20 in a row. All right. And if you did, you can move forward with, to the next one. So we toss, and I didn't say this, but I, we should have tossed with our dominant hand. And our dominant hand is the hand that you write with. And if I had to guess, probably most of you, by instinct, use the hand that you write with. So this time we're going to use our non-dominant hand, so the hand we don't write with, which can sometimes be a lot harder. So we're going to toss it with that hand, but we're still going to catch thumbs to thumbs. This time we're only going to go to 10. All right. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. All right. So we're going to add a little challenge to this. You can use the hand that you write with. All right. And we're going to toss it up. But in between that toss and before we catch it, we're going to add a clap. So we'll toss it up, clap, and catch. Let's again, let's see if we can get 10 in a row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, good job. If you didn't get that, you can, again, you can pause it until you get it. Um, and if you're struggling with it, that's okay. Get as many as you can and then keep going with us. Um, so now we're going to take the hand, our dominant hand, the hand we write with, and we're going to toss it up. This is a lot more difficult. All right, it's a lot more challenging here. We're going to toss it up and catch it with the same hand, just using one hand. All right, catch, toss it up and catch it with the same hand we toss with. Um, let's try to get 10 in a row on this. Um, if I uh, try to get 10 in a row, toss it, catch it with the same hand we tossed with. Ready? Go. One, two. And if you're struggling, if you're throwing it too high and that might be making it harder to catch, you can toss it short. So not as high. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, before we switch to the other hand, whenever we're catching, so whether it be two hands or one hand, make sure you put your hand out in front where you can see it and the ball. All right, and if you track the ball into your hand, you're going to be more likely to catch it. All right, so let's switch to our left hand. One, or non-dominant hand. Two, three. Four, five, six, seven, 
A nine ten. All right, and let's make it really challenging. And you can go back to the hand you write with, toss it up, clap, and catch with one hand. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, and we can switch to the other hand. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, and now we can go back to two hands and go back to the clap stick. This time, we're not counting how many we do it. We're going to count how many times we can clap before we catch it. And you can comment below if however many times you're able to get if you were to get five I clap five times and caught it you can comment below and do that all right so toss up One, two, three, four. I got four but I had to catch it pinkies and pinkies because it came below my head all right so One, two, three, four. Oh. and as you can see I dropped it so I got four times and I dropped it One, two, three. so I got three times so not very easy all right, now we're going to toss it. Instead of catching it thumbs to thumb, sometimes we have to catch it below our head or below our waist. And when we do that, we go pinkies to pinkies. So this time we're going to intentionally let it drop below our waist and work on catching it pinkies to pinkies. That's with two hands. All right, so toss it up. Make it low. Pinkies to pinkies, catch it. Use your legs. All right, you can use your legs to bend your knees and create soft hands. So anytime we bend our knees, and let the force come into us. All right, so toss it, make it low, thank you, Sophie. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. And we'll do toss it with your hand your, your hand you write with, your dominant hand. Again, let it go low, but we're gonna catch this one with one hand. Alright, so letting it go low and catch it one hand. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Really got to track it in when you're doing this. It takes a lot of focus. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. And switch. One. Four, two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten. And we're going to switch. So what we'll do now is we're going to toss it with the hand we write with and catch it with the opposite hand and then toss it back. Ready to go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. And then one more challenge is we're going to toss it and we're going to try to let it go. You can go two hands on this and we'll try to let it go as low as possible. So without touching the ground. See how low you can catch it without letting it touch the ground. So toss it up. See how low you can catch it. That was pretty low. All right, you can tell us to do that as many times as you want and see how and challenge yourself to see how low you can catch it. And then the last one, you can toss it, turn it around, and see if you can catch it. And that one's a little harder, so it may take you many tries on that one. Um, so you can do that as many times as you want. That'll be the last one. And that would be our tossing and catching drill. All right, hope you guys have a great day.